name's Gracie. I'm a junior at SCUT. I like your work! <laughs> this poem has a trigger warning for gun violence. This poem is called Classroom Casings. I'm scared of growing up. Just think about it. Taxes, debt, living alone. So first I gotta get my education so I can have a better adulthood rather than just worrying about how I'm going to pay for everything. I have to learn how to write an essay, how to find equilibrium between two points on a scale. I have to learn about my own brain. Why it has all these chemical imbalances that make everybody act differently. What would we be like if our brains were all molded the same? I think that'd be boring. I know we're supposed to ask questions to learn, so I have a question I have to ask here because I can't ask it in a classroom. When did a gun become more important than our lives? I remember in kindergarten, we weren't allowed to wear light-up shoes. I remember school shooter drills when I was seven and the one that wasn't a drill when I was eight. Freshman year, there was a bombing threat. Sophomore year, my mom had to give me instructions on what to do if I'm ever in the mall with an active shooter. She told me I'd have to leave my sister behind, that she'd have to do the same to me. If that ever happened, my mom told me to run. I said, I know. She told me, hide if I couldn't run. I said, I didn't know. She said, fight if I couldn't hide. And I said, I'll try my best, but I'm 5'4". Do I look like a fighter to you? And I tried to laugh, because that's just the easier thing, isn't it? It's easier to plan out now in my head who to text I love you to. If I had one text left, who would it go to? I have to say I love you every time I say goodbye to friends or family because who knows if I'll walk back in my front door. Junior year, somehow mass shootings are on the news every day. Since eighth grade, kids will joke about what could happen, imitating firing noises as someone else falls back shot. Am I supposed to laugh? What if I don't come home tomorrow? Who would take care of my best friends? Would my parents be okay? Would my death change anything? Older people will still call the kids that protest stupid, that they're wasting their learning time. But what are you supposed to do with a degree when air doesn't reach your lungs anymore? So yeah, in school, God forbid we say the word gay, but a gun is perfectly fine. If a bullet enters my body, that's just one more of the statistic, isn't it? I've been told to look into the eyes of the shooters so the probability of my survival goes up so that maybe they'll recognize I'm still human too. I turn on the news and there's a new death with the caption, mentally ill mass shooter, under these people talking in perfectly pressed suits like it happens every single freaking day. Because it does. And no laws are being passed. Nothing is changing. I cannot be expected to learn in a world I'm scared to enter a classroom in. Because with every new report, I always have that one question my teacher could never answer. Will it be me next? <laughs>